Well, welcome back, and we are at part two of our series tips, tricks, and techniques to get the most out of your trail camera. We are out in the woods. We have our trail camera mounted to the tree. We have a good trail here, and we are ready to start taking pictures and videos. But before we get into the details, again, a big thank you to Foxelli Outdoor Gear. Go check out foxelli.com. Check out all their outdoor gear that they offer there and also their trail cameras. Stick around to the end. I'm going to remind you of the discount code that Foxelli is offering on their trail cameras. It's a great deal and you're not going to want to miss that. But back to today's video, you have your trail camera out. You have it at a good spot. You leave it, whether you're on public or private land, what is one thought that's nagging in the back of your mind? Theft. You do not want your new trail camera or any trail camera stolen. Today's tip's gonna focus on how to keep your trail camera safe and how to keep it from being stolen. My number one tip from keeping a trail camera from being stolen is to have it not being seen. Now you say, hunting farmer, that is pretty obvious. Thanks a lot for the tip. But I say if a thief cannot see your trail camera, they cannot steal it. Now how do you keep it from being seen? Well that is simple. Hunting farmers spray away. You simply take this spray, and you liberally spray your camera down. And just like that it disappears. This stuff is great it'll last for up to two weeks and virtually invisible to any thief or to any person but remember a tip for using this is mark your location where you have your trail camera because after you have this sprayed you're going to have a hard time finding this also do not get this on yourself uh, it creates a bit of a panic when you lose your arm or a leg and you can no longer see it Okay, we all know there is no such thing as hunting farmer spray away. There's no magic solution. Actually, the trail camera never left. Just a little bit of trickery on my part. Uh, now my camera's doused with water. Uh, there is no such thing. My tip is you got to get that trail camera out of the way. Whether you mount it up high or you camouflage it, uh, Get it out of the line of sight of what the typical person, when you're walking, uh, you're just looking at eyesight. So even mounting the camera up high and getting it out of the eyesight goes a long way. Another tip is don't mount it in the most obvious place possible. If it is a main walking trail, don't hang it in the parking lot of your local public lands. Not a great idea. Get your trail camera mounted in a less obvious place. Make it harder for the thief to see. Um, there's a lot of honest people out there, but there's a lot of people that just cannot keep their hands off of somebody else's stuff. So my idea is to keep them from seeing it. Camouflage is another great way from keeping trail cameras from being seen. Have you seen this one up here behind me? Uh, yeah, you're probably not looking for it. Maybe somebody has spotted it. We have a trail camera right here that's camouflaged up. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. You can find some bark off of a dead tree. A uh, hot glue gun, a little bit of a frame to go around the trail camera. Uh, it doesn't take but a little bit of DIY and you can have some great camouflage that's going to match that in. Actually, there's another one here behind me. Did you see that one also? Uh, so yeah, camouflage can go a long way. It's not perfect, uh, but anything to break up the design, the outline, uh, can go a long way from keeping your camera from being stolen. So as you can see, I just simply find bark from a dead tree that's shedding its bark. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for that just because I keep this in the back of my mind. I keep quite a collection and then I simply take this and with the use of a little bit of a Dremel tool or a die grinder, air tool, uh, you can easily make the holes that's gonna correspond with your trail camera's holes. I make a little bit of a frame here also. So I just use some one by one uh, scrap wood and make a frame that goes on the outside of the trail camera. And then I also massage a little bit uh, the frame to make that trail camera fit pretty tight. And then it's a simply a matter of hot gluing this bark onto uh, that frame. When I'm all done, I take a little bit of a bungee cord and staple that on the back and that's what's gonna keep it secure to your trail camera. You can either use the strap on your trail camera, or in this case, I'm using the optional wall mount. Either way, you can keep that camouflage tree bark on your trail camera. 
uh, and have it marked. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it goes a long ways to camouflaging your trail camera. Another option for security, uh, and this is most applicable if you are on private property and you own the trees or have permission to put lags into the trees, is a security box. Now, I don't know of any commercially made security boxes that are specifically made to fit Foxelli, but that doesn't have to keep you from using these boxes. Uh, this actually is just an electrical square D uh, electrical panel, and I actually had this one laying around. Uh, I simply put some U-bolts in the lid so I can put a security cable around it to keep the lid uh, from being removed. And then I just built a wooden cradle inside that securely holds that camera exactly where it needs to be. That way when you uh, put this lid on, uh, the camera is held exactly in place. Then you could put a python cable uh, right through these U-bolts to hold that lid on. This can get lagged to a tree. Uh, it makes for a very sturdy and secure box. And the nice thing about uh, the Square D panels is that uh, width is exactly the right width for the Foxelli trail camera. Uh, doesn't hide any of your lens, your IR. Uh, just perfect, fits in there perfectly. Cheap, easy, and a secure way to mount your camera. Oh, and by the way, did you see that trail camera back there camouflaged to the tree? So as I had mentioned just a bit ago, my absolutely favorite go-to uh, way to keep a camera from being seen is to mount it up high. Uh, my preferred height is at least eight feet anywhere from that eight to 10 foot range. Uh, eight foot gets it out of the reach of the average person. And like I said, it gets it out of your line of sight. Uh, unless you're really forcing yourself to look around as you're walking, uh, you're just simply looking at eye level and below for 99% of the time, I would say. So getting it up out of sight, uh, plus where you just cannot reach up and mess with it, uh, is a huge plus. I also find it useful for the game. Uh, when you have the camera mounted here, uh, just at regular height, the animals that are walking through, even if you have low glow infrared lights, uh, a lot of people say, well, they spot the camera. Uh, they see the lights, they're spooked by it. Well, that may be the case in some of the instances, but a lot of the times it's not just the lights they're seeing. They're seeing this box strapped to the tree that they know wasn't there before. Uh, getting it up out of their sight also seems to help. If you look at a lot of my trail camera videos, uh, the footage is up aiming down at the animals. It just, in my opinion, takes out a lot of the game spooking from the cameras uh, and also huge benefits from keeping it from being stolen when it's mounted up there. Now I have advantages being a hunter. I already have the gear. I have climbing sticks. I simply carry one stick with me. I carry that into the woods when I'm checking trail cameras and when I'm hanging trail cameras, especially on public land. Put that one stick around the tree that allows me to climb up on that and to mount that camera up high where nobody can reach it, or at least not with some considerable effort. Well, thanks for following along here on part two of tips, tricks, and techniques. Hopefully you learned something, take a little bit of a tip away, uh, apply it, and help keep your trail cameras safe. Uh, nobody wants a trail camera stolen. But don't forget to tune in next week. We're going to have another episode, and I think we're going to get a little bit creative uh, with our cameras and our camera angles and getting the most out of our camera that way. Well, don't forget, before you go, check out foxelli.com. Uh, check out Foxelli Outdoor Gear. They have lots of gear there. And if you're in the market for a trail camera, check out their two trail camera options that they have on their website. Don't forget the discount code Hunting Farmer. That's going to give you 30% off your order. Now, that's a limited time discount code and only one use per person. So uh, keep that in mind. Take advantage of this offer while it lasts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in week three tips, tricks, and techniques to get the most out of your trail camera.